a dudes what is happening this is trent and welcome to trent's game room uh as you know i am a game developer and uh and I, I make games and i also like to play them i like to play games and i like to talk about them and so of course you know being that i have a fancy youtube channel i would love to talk about video games with you uh, one of the games that i recently played uh was called firewatch and it is a compelling uh, drama, I guess. I don't know exactly how you would categorize this game. It's an indie game developed by a group called Campo Santo in the San Francisco area, and I'm guessing it's a pretty small team. Um, but uh, the game is essentially about a man who goes out into, uh, he takes a job as a firewatch out in uh, the mountains, and uh, he's, he's kind of feeling bad about some things that went wrong in his life, kind of had a, kind of had a shit hand handed to him. And uh, so he's kind of feeling bad about himself and he wants to go and mope and maybe do a little bit of writing, you know, up in the up in the, the mountains. And so once he gets up there, though, he starts getting pestered by this annoying uh, uh, chick, uh, Delilah, uh, in, in another tower. And I just wanted her to, to shut up. But she kept, kept just kept trying to talk to me about, you know, uh, my, my relationships and, and why I'm so unhappy in, in my life and why I would take a job as a firewatch guy. What the heck? Uh, leave me alone, lady. Uh, but uh, she keeps calling you and she's like, hey, there's like some, some kids lighting off fireworks. Go, go do, you know, go do your thing. And um, so you trudge through the woods and, uh, you know, at first it's like, oh, this is neat. You know, you're like climbing over logs and stuff like that. And, and, you see little areas where it's like, oh, I'd, I'd kind of like to explore that area. But guess what? I don't have the tools or the equipment to be able to explore that area. So I can't. There's, a, there's an interesting mystery that's sort of happening. And it, and it does compel me. I think throughout the whole game, I kept, I was compelled to uh, discover the secrets of this, uh, this mountain range that I'm supposed to be watching over. Uh, I did feel like a, a kind of a neat sense. This game is all about like atmosphere. It's all about vibes. It's all about how you, you sort of, they really capture a feeling that you're out in the emptiness of these mountains. And, uh, and there's these, these uh, mysteries that are happening all around you. And, uh, you know, the, I think the payoff wasn't as huge as I would have liked when I did finally get to the end. It was like, mm, really? You know, and that kind of left me a little bit sour. That's why I'm not like you know, super jazzed on this game. I beat it in one night. So it was essentially about, I would say at most three to three and a half hours. I went online afterwards and I looked up a few things and it turns out that your conversations with the annoying chick from the other tower can end up being completely different if you, um, if you actually respond to her in different ways. You can name things that are happening in the setting and that kind of draws you in. But really, it's just a drama about characters. And... Um, they cheese a lot of things. There's no cutscenes. There's very few animations, and the animations that when they do happen, they're um, noticeable because there are so few. I wouldn't even say that the clouds moved. There was uh, there's some uh, some atmosphere, some wind, and some other elements that kind of shift around. I think that I was set up to believe that this game was a lot more than it actually is, but I don't want to slam on it because, as far as I'm concerned, making games is hard, dudes. You know, why don't you try sitting down and modeling out a whole canyon? It's hard, man. And then making the uh, the, the water flow and like creating puzzles and, and creating the psychology that a player needs to have an understanding of how your tools at their disposal work. And then knowing that they're never going to try some things and that they will try other things. It's hard, man. Game development's hard. So I want to give it to those guys for their effort in that regard. But... Uh, really, this is maybe maybe more of like a if if it's on sale, pick it up because it really just it did not like strike me on some heavy emotional chord. I think maybe some of the text from the beginning did, but that could have been a visual novel, and a visual novel could be five dollars on an iPhone. I don't think that it's necessary to do it as as over the top. I had, I had some severe glitches where there were just some cutouts of trees, and that that didn't sit too well with me. Um, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to bag on it too much, but, um, it, you know, ultimately I was glad it was kind of short because I was expecting a little bit more of a payoff towards the end. I was expecting a little bit more of like a, maybe a setup for a sequel. I was expecting maybe a little bit more wildlife or something else going on in the setting. And I know it's so easy to just be play armchair quarterback and go, dude, why didn't you make it more compelling? Well, because it's hard. 
Game development's hard. But if you look at it in, in contrast to a lot of other games that are out right now, even indie teams that have developed other games like Soma right now, uh, Soma is a very compelling atmosphere, has a lot of the same feelings of tension and mystery, but it does it, it actually delivers a lot more on the uh, on the on the scare factor, having other characters in the settings, having a lot more of a robust, rich world uh, to dig into. Um, I would say that uh, uh, this game it's a great first game for these guys, and I I think that. If it does well, they could really. These guys could really do a lot. They have a good understanding of narrative. Like I said, if the story wasn't as good as it is and, and as compelling as it is, um, then I would have been completely disappointed. But uh, because it kind of fell flat in the ending, and I just did, I wanted a little bit more of a payoff, dudes. Give me some like intense drama at the end. I was expecting some. I I don't want to even suggest what I was expecting. If 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 it's like under ten bucks, pick it up. Play it. It's a one night thing. Maybe play it with you know your wife or your husband or whatever. Play it with somebody and just kind of like you know spark some conversations. And it does have some emotion, but uh, overall, little little flat on the ending. And maybe it'll be different for you. I don't know. But in my book, this game is at most six pickles. So that does it. That about wraps it up for me for Firewatch. That was my experience. What did you guys think of the game? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you want more from it? Did you like the ending? What could they have done to make it better? Leave your comments in the, uh, the section below. And uh, as usual, please subscribe and uh, let me know what other games you think I should talk about here on my channel. Uh, I got some awesome new art videos coming in the next week. So uh, come on back soon and I'll have, I'll have more for you. All right, till such time, a ciao.